College football in central Pennsylvania is looking up as Susquehanna and Lycoming have jumped out to a combined record of 5-1 and one to start the new season. The Susquehanna Riverhawks have given their fans plenty to cheer about in Sealands Grove as they've won their first three games of the 2021 college football season. Two convincing wins against Lycoming and Moravian surround a Week 2 overtime victory against Franklin and Marshall. Eyewitness Sports asked head coach Tom Perkovich and some of his players about this year's team and their goals for the season. This after COVID canceled their games last year following a nice 10-1 season in 2019. This, we've had this burning desire to get back on the field and for us uh, it's just an amazing feeling to be back out here and finish a game and, and be together and, and, and play football again and coach football for our staff. So um, it's just, it's, I can't tell you how, how awesome it is for, for us and our players. I think our strength is how close this team is to each other. You know, we're all brothers. We're all in this together. We've all been working for two years now waiting for this game. So um, I think it's camaraderie. Uh, goals of the season is the win. Win every game, uh, really. Every, every, it's going to go week by week, and we're going to win one game at a time and uh, see where that gets us. Susquehanna puts their undefeated record on the line against Dickinson College on Saturday. Now, just north along Route 15, the Lycoming College Warriors are riding a two-game winning streak following the opening loss to Susquehanna. The defense held their next two opponents to under 10 points. Lycoming won their first game 31-6 against Lebanon Valley. Following the Week 2 win, they held Kings to under 10 points in their come-from-behind 28-8 road victory. Head coach Mike Clark describes his 2021 Warriors as resilient as they look forward to continuing their winning ways in a very competitive Middle Atlantic Conference. You know, to start the way we did in, in the Kings game and turn it over the first two possessions and spot them a 2 nothing lead and to still find a way to win 28-8, I think it says our kids are resilient and, you know, defensively we played really well. So, uh, you know, we're excited about, about what we can continue to become. The last two weeks we've kind of figured out how we need to play uh, so that we can be successful going forward. Next week, like Lycoming hits the road to take on Stevenson University. They follow up with four games at home in Williamsport in October.